This video is going to show you how I print InDesign documents to my Epson Stylus Pro 4800. Um, I have a background in both photography and graphic design, so I recognize that um, some of this information is a little obscure. Um, I also recognize that one size does not fit all, so I'm just kind of tossing this video out here and you can see how I uh, manage this workflow and, and hopefully it'll give you some pointers on what you might do to uh, wrangle this in for your own personal workflow. Um, anyway, okay, so we've got a brand new InDesign document that I've set up a couple of margins and I know that um, I've already got loaded up some TIFF files that, that uh, are, these were created, these images were created in Photoshop and saved with an Adobe RGB color space. So uh, first thing I'm going to do right off the bat is I'm just going to go ahead and save my file. Um, I've got this directory already here, so I'll just do this. I've got it as the light socket folder cover, and that's what this particular job is, is that it's just a... Uh, it's just a one sheet that I'm looking at right now that holds these images, but I'm thinking that I might want to go into InDesign and drop in more text or something in the future. Um, yeah, this could have been done in Photoshop, but I'm thinking that I want to have it as an InDesign document. could also end up being a cover for a booklet or something, and uh, I don't really want to reinvent the wheel. So um, with this already set up, this will be the document. We know that these Photoshop files that have been placed here in in image boxes, um, in the bounding boxes are Adobe RGB ready. Those are the profiles. So uh, we, the first place that we're going to hit is we're going to come under uh, edit and we're going to come down to color settings. By default, usually what you see is that the working space is set to Adobe, uh, excuse me, to sRGB and don't get me started on stupid RGB. We just know that that's going to be wrong. So um, we're going to come here to the uh, yeah we're going to come down to the color profile and the paper that we're going to be printing out on is um, photo luster paper it's a uh, located right which one is it Epson stylus the letters are PLPP and it it's actually going to be this Pro 4800 PLPP it's not the 250 because um, that's an additional uh, a carrier for the the paper on the printer and I don't have that I just have the standard paper holder so we just gone ahead and select that that set up the working space for the InDesign document itself and on that note I'm okay uh, but we do have to come back up here and we have to make another edit we gotta remember when we first opened up this dark document it was uh, sRGB so we want to pr convert the profile, much like what you'd be doing in Photoshop. So it shows that our RGB uh, profile currently is sRGB, and we're wanting it to shift over to a destination space where it's going to be um, this Pro 4800. That's set now by default here because we had made that first change. And I go on ahead and I click OK. So the document itself is pretty much set up for the photo luster paper that um, you know for that profile now we have to start setting up the printer itself and in order to do that we are going to come up under here we're going to come to file and it's a little strange but you have to you have to actually go into print to get any of the additional print setting dialogues um, it used to be a little bit different um, but anyway I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go there first place that we're we're gonna go is we're gonna look at the printer setting and by default it's it's um, already set up to print to my little laser printer and and again, that's that's wrong. So we're gonna we're gonna switch it over here to the Epson Stylus Pro 4800. Um, the next little thing that we have to do to tell uh, the printer and InDesign to play nice, we got to get the color management handled here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna come over to color management, and you do want to make sure that under the options that the color handling is set to let InDesign determine the colors. Um, it can duplicate the effort if you if it's not set up like this on your printer and you don't want the printer trying to um, make decisions about how the color is being done 
while InDesign is also trying to make decisions about how the color is being handled. Um, so in this instance, InDesign is uh, king of this whole thing, and we're just going to be telling the printer to do whatever it says. Um, the printer profile, again, uh, you may have something that is set up a little bit different here by default, but because I've already been printing in InDesign to my Epson 4800 Pro with the, the uh, Photo Luster Premium Paper, um, it's it's coming up by default. Uh, otherwise, you would need to come down here and select it specifically again in this pop pop up menu, and select the Pro 4800 Photo Luster Photo Paper. So bang, there's that. Um, that's it for this immediate dialog box, but there are some additional levels to this that have to be set up for this to be able to print right. The page setup uh, does need to be formatted for the Epson. Stylus Pro 4800, and it could have been uh, coming up, if it's a brand new document, it could have been coming up with another printer in my, my dialog box. So now that I know that that is on the, the correct page, I have to come down here and take a good look at the paper size. We can see that it's set by default in this instance. It's decided that it's going to be US letter, but it's on a roll of paper. That is not what I'm going to be outputting to. So I need to change this and I'm going to change it over here to US letter. Let me make a distinction here real quick. You might be tempted to um, to switch it over to US letter sheet maximum. In my experience, when we end up making a change on an image like that, uh, when we set up the, the dialog box and we change it to maximum, it's going to do some resizing that's a little bit unexpected. And I don't want it to be making decisions like that for me. Um, I want to make those decisions and have more direct control over it. So I'm just going to be setting it to the default and telling it, look, just going ahead and print it as a normal letter size and... Um, do what I say and do what InDesign says. So uh, with these uh, settings now set up under the page setup dialog box, I'm good to hit OK. Still not done. We have to tell the printer uh, to make the correct adjustments so that, um, so that it'll output correctly. If you've ever had a problem printing a Photoshop document or an InDesign document and you look at your images and it, even though you seem to have set everything up right to the correct color profiles and the, the colors come out too dark uh, and look just really not just a little strange but just plain bad, it's usually because of the things that we're looking at here under this dialog box. So uh, from here, the first thing that we need to do is make sure that the printer is actually set up. It could have been uh, set up to the laser printer that you... Uh, that you saw initially, but it is actually set up to my Epson Stylus 4800 Pro, so that's good. Under this pop-up menu here, um, this is where we access the printer's color settings, and we want to tell the printer to turn off because we want InDesign to be determining the color as we set it up earlier. You might think that that would be under paper handling. It is not. Paper handling is just talking about, you know, printing out odd or even pages or printing out a book in a re reverse order or normal order, um, not where you should be looking in order to be able to, to set the the paper correctly. So we want to go to print settings and under print settings we can choose the media type as you see here. The media type is not correct. It's it's by default for some reason it's set to presentation paper mat. Again, uh, we want to come to photo paper and then we want it to be ultra premium photo paper luster. Drives me crazy that the, the name of the paper isn't the same from one window to the next, but so be it. That is, that's what we're looking at. So now that I have my media type set up to my, my photo luster paper, I need to make sure that my color settings are set correctly. Right now it's currently set to this uh, sRGB. Um, this is the printer uh, saying I will be printing things out and it will look like this. We don't want it to be saying anything. We just want it to do what it's told. So we're going to tell it to turn its own color settings off. It's making no adjustments. So, um, and I'm going to talk real quick, just, just briefly, the I want it on your radar. The print quality, I'm going to just leave it for this instance um, at the 1440 DPI. 
if I really wanted to do something that was going to be super high resolution photo uh, for this this document, yeah, I would up it, but it it's not necessary in this instance. So with these changes made, we're we're pretty much good to go. So I hit print here, and um, it looks like everything at this point is set up correctly. Everything should be good to go. We had to go into all of those menus in order to, to get to this point where I can just plain hit print and it should be it should be good to go at that point. And it's says it's super convoluted. Um, it's taken a while to kind of figure out how to dial it in the best and I may not actually have the best way to do this. Um, it depends on all of the devices that you're using in your own particular workflow. So that's that's how I do it. Um, if there's something that I got wrong, if you know of a better way to go on ahead and do this, let me know. Go on ahead and leave a comment. I really appreciate the feedback. Um, beyond that, I guess that we're at that point where I say please subscribe and hey, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.